Russian commanders throwing soldiers into pits and starving them for minor offences in Ukraine. Russian military commanders punish their subordinates for disobedience and minor offences. Those who fall out of favour are placed into a pit and starved with the aim of re-education, informs the National Resistance Centre of Ukraine. Russia's unchanged approaches to the formation and education of the morale of its armed forces are observed in the temporarily occupied Donetsk region, the report states. It is noted that more than 120 Russian military personnel are currently held in the Donetsk pit for various offences against their commanders. For the slightest offence, they are imprisoned here, denied food and water so that the soldier can rethink his mission in a special atmosphere, the National Resistance Centre reports. It is said that those who end up in this correctional facility potentially become assault troops and soon carry out tasks in hot spots on the front line. And as for the life expectancy of recruited Russian soldiers, for example, those who want to fight against Ukraine and get to the front by signing a contract with the Russian Ministry of Attack in prison, live no more than eight months. The National Resistance Center concludes, it is worth noting that Russian commanders often send occupiers who have somehow misbehaved while serving in the invading army into assault battles. These are often order violators or those who disagree with the Russian military leadership's rhetoric regarding combat decisions. To avoid unnecessary problems, Russian military leadership uses such manpower in directions on the front where heavy fighting takes place. Russian soldiers have complained for months that military police throw them into overcrowded caves or pits without any food or water if they refuse to fight. Russian military tactics have not evolved since the Second World War and are based on sending waves of infantrymen across open ground against Ukraine machine gun posts and trenches. The high casualty numbers produced by these tactics are spreading fear and discontent within the Russian army. Вот и у нас взорвали склад боеприпасов. Взрывы были, блядь, с трех часов ночи до сих пор. Ну, блядь, склад горит, блядь. Вот это из-за этой хуйни мы в три часа ночи проснулись. Да вообще прям сильно дымит прям. Вон шлейф какой херачит. Да уж оставили бы догорело, блядь, на новый построили. Все, труба. Ну, пожарные там разгружаются. Что 